हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम Now let's quickly check what are the prerequisites to upgrade a device from Windows 10 to Windows 11 using Intune feature upgrade policy. So in addition to the license for Intune, organization must have one of the following subscription. They should either have Windows 10 or 11 Enterprise E3 or E5 license, which is a part of Microsoft 365 App 3 E3 or E5 subscription, or they have. Windows 10 or 11 Education A3 or A5 license, which is a part of Microsoft 365 A3 or A5 subscription, or they have Windows 10 or 11 Virtual Desktop access per user, or they should have Microsoft 365 Business Premium. With respect to device related prerequisite, the system should be running on Windows 10 or Windows 11 that are remain in the supported version. Device should be enrolled in MDM and should be either in hybrid Azure design or Azure design. The device should have telemetry data turned on with the minimum setting of required. We can configure the telemetry data as part of device restriction policies for Windows 10 or later. And to configure the telemetry data, we have to create a device restriction policies under reporting and telemetry. configuration we have to select the share users data with a minimum value of required we have to ensure that the microsoft account sign in assistant must be able to run this is a service if the service is blocked or set to disable it fails to receive the update by default the service is set to manually trigger start which allow it to run when needed Now let's see how we can upgrade a Windows 10 device to Windows 11 device. So the very first step is to ensure that the we have the required policy deployed on the device. The very first policy is the telemetry data should be enabled and the minimum setting should be set to required. And the second one is to enable the Windows health monitoring policy and we have to select the Windows update scopes to get detailed device status and errors. So let's see how we can set up these two policies first. Now, first, let's see how we can configure the telemetry data. So to configure the telemetry data, we have to go to the devices, and within devices, we have to go to the configuration profiles, and we have to create a profile, and the platform type should be Windows 10 and later, and the profile type should be template, and within that, we have to select the device restriction profile. and we have to click on create now we here we have to provide the name of the policy so i am going to provide the configure telemetry data and then click on next now we have to configure the settings so i am interested to configure the reporting and telemetry settings and we have to configure the share users data setting under this the minimum required setting is required but i am okay with enhance because i am trying to upgrade my windows 10 which is already on 1903 above version so i am on i am going to click on enhance 1903 earlier and then click on next and then we have to deploy to the required devices so i am going to deploy to all the devices and then click on next and then click on next and then create now configure telemetry data policies created and deployed to all the required devices now we have to enable the windows health monitoring policy and select the windows update scope to get detailed device status as well as the error and to do this we have to create another policy and under platform we have to select the windows 10 and later and profile type should be template and within that we have to go to windows health monitoring and we have to click on create here we have to provide the name of the policy so i am i am going to provide enable windows health monitoring and then click on next 
now we have to select the health monitoring i am going to enable it and the scope should be windows update then click on next and then deploy to all the scope devices for now i am going to deploy to all devices and then click on next and then click on next and then create now enable windows health monitoring policy is also created and deployed to all the required devices now let's see how we can create a feature upgrade policy to upgrade windows 10 to windows 11 now next step is to create the feature update deployment policy so to do this we have to go to the devices and within devices we have to go to the feature update for windows 10 and later but before that we have to ensure that the if we have any update ring policy configured then within that update ring policy the feature update default period should not be more than zero so we have to edit it and now we have to configure the feature update default period should be zero and review and save now we are ready to create a feature update for windows 10 and later policy so i'm going to click on feature update for windows 10 and later and then click on create profile so here we have to provide the name of the policy so i'm going to provide windows 11 h 2 and then we have to select the feature update which we want to deploy for now i'm going to select windows 11 version 22h2 now we have to select the rollout option so i'm okay with make update available as soon as possible but if you want you can select make update available on a specific date and then you can provide the date or you can make update available gradually then you can provide the group one group two and the days between these two groups i'm okay with first option make update available as soon as possible and then click on next here we have to provide the group on which we want to deploy windows 11 feature upgrade so i'm going to add the group name i already created a group called test group and one of my test machine is a part of that group i'm going to click on select and then click on next and then create now feature update for windows 11 22 h2 created successfully and assigned and the version is also showing as supported now after some time we can see that the windows 10 version 22 h2 feature upgrade is available for the device and machine is currently downloading windows 11 22 h2 feature upgrade now the machine started installing windows 11 version 22 h2 feature upgrade now we can see that the machine is showing as a pending for reboot and user is also getting a reboot notification at this point of time user can select pick a time to schedule a reboot as per their choice or they can schedule restart tonight or they can select the restart now to restart the machine immediately for now i am going to select the restart now option now we can see that the machine is updated to windows 11 version 22 h2 and same we can verify by running winbar command let me type winbar command now we can see that the machine is on windows 11 with version 22 h2 we can also check and verify the windows 11 upgrade deployment status using built-in report available under reporting section called windows feature update report but i personally observed that this built-in report is taking a very long time to show the updated status in intune portal that's all i want to show you how you can upgrade a machine from windows 10 to windows 11 using feature upgrade policy i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video